Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here at Hexagon Live and the last time I saw the table was actually at Con Expo in March 2020. There, Hoppy, we introduced the table for the first time and the table, folks, is actually what's going on on site and what can be achieved using Leica Geosystems and Hexagon uh, equipment and solutions. And today, we've got a table that's been enhanced a few years later. We're back, Hexagon Live is here, global operation, lots of people from all over the world coming. What's changed since Con Expo and how has things advanced uh, with the Leica and Hexagon Well, products? obviously, yeah, three years is a long time. Yeah. Um, but we have a few new things, but can I just quickly re-emphasize why we have yeah, such yeah. a big table in the yeah, first place, exactly, right? Exactly. Because we, we thought it's the best way to tell the story in terms of all of the different solutions we have across all the phases of construction, from the planning to the actual delivery. Then we have the various applications, a multitude of personas. You know, you put all of this together, it, it becomes a story that is easier being shown than told. Yeah. And so we have the table. And, and we have these devices, these iPads that are connected, folks, um, from the table that allow us to touch anything that we see on the table and we can find out more about it, which is great. Yeah. That was the idea. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, we took the table back out and then we realized in three years a few things have happened. Yeah. So we updated. Yeah. Yeah. The real side by now is finished, obviously, so we couldn't go back and reopen the entire yeah, ground, yeah, but absolutely. on the table we yeah, can do yeah. what we want. So, so one thing that we added, which is actually, we should have done back then to a degree already, but now it's nicer, is we, we can now look into the table and, and highlight some of our underground radar and, and uh, technologies that we use for detection. Right. For the pipes, yep. the cables, yep. you know. Uh, there are places you don't want to start digging without knowing what is there. Absolutely, particularly in city centers when you're doing infrastructure works, you know, you mess around with a cable, you can be in serious trouble. You burst a main, there's yeah. water everywhere, the site's flooded, it's, it's, and the it, whole thing is just a nightmare, isn't it's, it? it? It can be very expensive, but worse, it can be dangerous. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Life threatening. So, yeah, yeah. Life threatening. So, so we are we're showcasing this now, so you can actually see how the technology works when you look into the table. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Literally. Uh, the other part that we have, uh, we showcase the new AP20. Um, you know, which in terms of, you know, uh, measuring points is, is uh, the latest technology that we launched earlier this year. Yeah. Obviously, that had to be present as well. And last but not least, you know, I think that we always had a very good story about the machines and the material. Yeah. Right? Yep. You know, a machine control on the machine, oh, yeah. so they know where they need to cut, where they need to fill. And obviously the material, um, you know, that's that's the big assessment where we, where we capture the data and say, okay, here's here is the dirt that needs to be moved from here to there. And, um, so machines and material was always part of the story, but we forgot the people. Yeah, 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 yeah. We and there's the plenty people. of people involved, isn't it? And yeah. There's a lot of people on the construction side. It is, it is still, like, unfortunately, one of the most um, hazardous professions out there. Yeah. Um, but look, I think with technology, you talk a connected technology, right? You connected, connected work site, you know, that can change as well now. Yeah. So what we, what we highlighted here is around the various application, how you can now build these dynamic safety zones. Yeah. That when you as a pedestrian on the side, you come in from a blind angle or, or an approach an equipment in any particular way that could be dangerous for you. Yeah. Um, it now warns you. And, and equally important, it warns the operator. Yeah, so it's a personal alert device it's a, it's a personal that literally alert device, a PA. connects to the operator in the cab. Yeah, it does exactly that. Yeah, um, you also a similar technology also allows you uh, not just uh, have this for people but also for objects. Yeah, you know, yep. so you don't, so you're aware of other machines on the side. You're aware of um, static uh, objects uh, that are there. Uh, you know, there's a multitude of applications. Yep. Um, so it helps the people, but I think the next the next important step also is then how do you retrieve this data so you can then look over a particular period in time and say, look, why does it happen on particular days or in particular areas? Yep. Or in some, and then you can start looking at your processes, not just from the individual incident, but overall, you know, was it about my operation that I can improve? And what you're saying there is about redesigning the table because you're redesigning the work site to be safer and you're using that data to, to be more productive, more efficient, but actually looking at those pinch points on the site as well so that you can actually reconfigure some of the areas to be more productive and also to actually stop any form of alerts and, and any form of danger. You know, the truth is that uh, uh, 
if you look at a process and you make it safer, mm. very often you'll find that you also make it more efficient and more yeah, productive. Yeah, of course. Right? Yeah, yeah. You know, like if, if a true safety culture exists on a site, you know, then, uh, you know, that enables communication across all the levels of hierarchy. Yep. You know, you look at something and normally something that is unsafe also is an obstacle in its own right, which means it has an impact on, on efficiency. And so, so I think it's very important though for that safety awareness, you need to have data. Yep, yep, yep. You, you yep. need to have the technology. And so uh, we, we hope to enable this a lot more now to a degree. Some of these technologies come from from mining, as you very well know, yep. uh, mining is, is a very safety conscious uh, culture. And you know, we adopted these more to kind of fit to the needs of a, of a construction site as we find them typically. So there it is, the table is back here at Hexagon Live a few years ago at uh, Con Expo in March 2020, when we really realized how much is involved on a work site and how much data and things you can capture and knowledge. It's even increasing every day that we're looking here. New devices like the BLK 360 have also been launched for the surveying teams at the event. So lots and lots of exciting things happening here. And it's all about other things that relate to collaborative working, data sharing, and fundamentally, all about sustainability folks, doing things better, moving Earth once and well, and doing things safer that allows everybody to go home safer back. Pleasure to see you again, Hoppy. Same here, thank and, you so uh, much. No doubt, the next time we see the table, it'll be even bigger. Actually, the next time we'll see the table, um, maybe a little preview, Yeah. we're gonna see a smaller but more sophisticated version at Bauma. All right, so Bauma for the next table, slightly smaller, but more sophisticated. Great to see. Yeah, Cheers. Great. Thank you so much.